<laughs> now, I'm not, not going to keep you people any longer. Uh, you've listened to me long enough. And, uh, but before I get off my soapbox here, I just want to make a publicly honor a request that my Uncle Pete made. I'm going to change my name to Cortland. Oh. From now on, I am Caleb Cortland. <laughs> Ryan from David. What did you mean? Why isn't he moving? Somebody collapsed? Not just somebody. What the hell happened to him? No idea. Baby, I'm gonna have to take care of this, okay? Take care, take care of what? what, what what's going on? Uh, it's it's Hayward. Uh, baby, he's he's hurt and he's not moving. Ted, would you take care? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, do your thing. Is David alive? I don't know yet. Does he have a pulse? I'm not feeling him run. What happened? I don't know. Just... Jake! Frankie! Maybe there's something... No, 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 it's okay, honey. Jake's here. Oh, my God. David. David? David? Where is Ryan? Where is he? You can't do this right now. David? <sighs> that was the guy in the fight, right? Yeah. Work, Greenlee. Come on, David. Jake. It's gone. Brian. Looks like he had a lot of trauma. A blow to the head and face. I, there's no way of knowing them. I mean, we'd have to wait and see. You think so? someone killed, killed him? I, I don't know. Any, anything's possible. You want a glass of water or something? I'm not leaving. You got her? Yeah. All right, everybody, listen up. I know you didn't factor this into your evening, but as of right now, this place is officially a crime scene, which means 
you're all witnesses. Which also means I'm going to have to ask you all to stay here, answer questions about what you might have seen tonight. All right? Yeah, this is Hubbard. I'm going to need some backup here. What happened to you? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, what, what, what do you mean you don't know? <sighs> Ryan, look, your face, you're bleeding. Okay, just, just, just stop. Okay, just give me a second, please. Oh. Did ah. You, did, did, I must I must just, I must, I must have hit my head or something. On, on what? Ryan, did someone do this to you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. Why don't we go sit? Greenlee, you've had a major shock. Please, just come with me. No. Okay, then we'll stay right here. Your daughter. She's already lost two parents. Her marriage. I don't know how... I don't know how Marissa's gonna handle this. Well, she will, because she has to. It's just... It's just not fair. Are they close? When he tried. He really did try. David wanted to be a good father. He just... And he didn't know how. This is insane. Totally. What are we gonna say? The cops are on their way and, and... And then the chief of police, he's gonna start questioning us. And... And what are we gonna say? It's like we saw much. We took off before those dudes got really ugly. And one of those dudes is dead, and the other is Ryan Lavery. He's a good guy, he's Emma's dad. And... and he was engaged to her. What does that have to do with us? Nothing. Nothing. I... I just don't want to get Ryan in trouble. Then don't. Mayor, I'm so glad you called. Yes, I, I am. I'm ready to assume my duties as district attorney. Mayor, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, but there's something I need to tell you. It's about our friend David Hayward. Baby, I'm sorry I had to leave you like that. He's really dead. He's really dead. David is dead. I, I, I never thought I'd say those words. I mean, it just doesn't even seem real. <sighs> Who are you telling? Listen, if you need to go home, I'll take No. Her. No. No, think how that would look. Everyone is staying for questioning, and your wife and your best friend are giving a pass. I'm staying right here. You got her? You don't even have to ask. If you need me. Absolutely. All right, everybody. Uh, the sooner we get this started, the sooner we can get you home. More officers will be here shortly. All right? Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. a lot about you, you know, and I was just, well, I was wondering how you're holding up, how AJ's been taking everything, and I would love to talk to you, Marissa, I, well, even better, <laughs> I'd love to see you, and not so I can put my two cents in on JR or, or tell you how to live your life, I just, I don't know, the last time we were together, you were, you were so upset, and I guess I just miss your smile. I could really use it right now, for a lot of reasons. Not that you owe me anything, OK? 
okay? I mean, that's without question my department. But I am hoping that someday you'll allow me to pay you back for all the time I've missed and whatever pain I've caused. As a doornail. Wow. Not exactly the word I would use. Angie. Hi. Hey, what do you need? Can I get you something? Do you want me to take her home? You won't be taking her anywhere. Now, Jesse is the one who needs you right now. Want me to work? Still off the area. All right. Guys, Jake, I need you two at the exits. Nobody leaves without giving a statement, okay? What are you still doing here? Get to work. All right, okay. Be right back. All right. Was David here? Did you, did, did you see him? Maybe talk to him? Did you get into an argument? I, 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 I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Everything, everything is a blank. I don't, I don't know. We need to get out of here right now. You know, I don't see Ryan. I don't think I've seen him all night. Are you sure he was here? Yeah. Maybe he went home to Emma or something. Well, you know, I could call him, tell him what happened. I'm sure he'd no, rush right No, over. no, I don't want to bother him. Listen. I know I'm not right. You are not in this alone, okay? I just can't believe this. No one can. Well, you're the new DA now, Miss Colby. If foul play was involved, I want confirmation that whoever committed this heinous crime is found and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Believe me, if somebody killed David Hayward, I want them to pay as much as anyone else. But the fact of the matter is that up until a couple hours ago, he was actually my client. So ethics would dictate that I recuse myself. Well, ethics are not a priority right now. The man who saved my daughter's life. That man whose life was just taken away, he's my priority. You understand? I do, but the so situation... you will take this case without hesitation. Or you won't take any case at all, because one phone call, I'll get a new DA in the morning, Miss Colby. That won't be necessary. I didn't think so. 